Hello children. How are you today? We are fine, Mr. Scientist. Have you done your homework? Yes, sir. The distance between the sun and the earth is 14 crores and 70 lakh kilometers. That's great. Can we start with today's session? Sure, sir. Now, we are going to learn about magnets. Do you know anything about magnets? I know that magnets attract iron. Good. Have you seen a magnet? Yes, we have. Did you know that all magnets have poles? No, sir. Could you please explain? Okay. A magnet is an object made of certain material which creates a magnetic field. Every magnet has two poles. One is called the north pole and the other is the south pole. You know very interesting thing about magnets. If you cut a bar magnet into half, both pieces will again have their own north and south poles. If you take one of those pieces and again break it into two, each one of the smaller pieces will also have a north pole and a south pole. So remember, no matter how many pieces you cut the magnet into, there will always be two poles to it. Wow, that's cool. Where are magnets used? One of the earliest uses of magnet was in a compass. A compass helps us navigate. The needle of the compass is a magnet which points just a little to the left of the north. Nowadays, we use compass in every device. In industries, magnets are used for lifting, holding, separating, retrieving, sensing and material handling. Do magnets attract only iron or other metals as well? Magnets attract iron, steel, nickel and cobalt. And of course, don't forget, magnets do not only attract but they also repel. What do they repel? One magnet repels the same pole of another magnet. So, if you bring two north poles of two magnets close together, you will be able to feel the repulsion. They push each other away. And if you bring the opposite poles of two magnets, like the north pole of one and the south pole of the other, you will notice that they attract each other and quickly stick together. How many types of magnets are there? Good question, Ria. There are three types of magnets. One, the permanent magnets. Two, the temporary magnets. And three, the electromagnets. You must have seen the magnet stickers that we stick onto the refrigerator. They are all permanent magnets. Temporary magnets are things which become magnets when they are within a strong magnetic field and lose their magnetism when they are out of the magnetic field. And electromagnets are the helical coils of wire tightly wound, usually with an iron core. It acts like a permanent magnet when an electric current is flowing through it. Thank you for your explanation on magnets, sir. So, what will be our experiment today? We are going to work on an experiment about attraction and repulsion between magnets. We are going to use a small rubber pad, a stick and some magnets. Insert the stick in the rubber pad and make a stand. Now, push one ring magnet onto the stick. Check its pole and now start putting the ring magnets over the stick one by one. Make sure that you put all the magnets with the same poles facing each other. Put all six magnets onto the stick this way. Now, you will notice that the magnets float. This is called repulsion. Hey children, isn't that interesting? Yes, Mr. Scientist. This experiment was fun.